Okay, MPE is a really interesting thing. It got added to live um, in Live 11, and so it's kind of in its second big generation of it now with Live 12. And earlier I said it's like a high resolution MIDI. That's basically true. Now, not everything can use MPE right now. Um, only some MIDI controllers are capable of MPE and only some instruments can do anything with it. So if we want to take a look at what we've got, we can go up here and we can go over to the MPE tab. And now before you ask me, what does MPE even stand for? I don't remember. I'm not actually sure. And I think that there's actually even some debate about what it stands for. I like to think of it as like super MIDI. That's what it stands for. So it gives us a couple new controls. So in the MPE tab, we have these two new lanes, kind of like velocity and chance that we saw before. This one is called slide and this one is called pressure. I can see more if I go here. I can also see velocity, which we've already messed around with. So we know that it has velocity and release velocity. Now, all of these things are only relevant to some instruments. I can't make anything in the slide um, lane because this instrument doesn't support anything in the slide lane. If you go to an instrument like Wavetable, you'll see that it has a lot of controls that say MPE on them. So those are going to give you some of these extra controls that you can play with. Some of them will add really nice, versatile effects to what you're playing in. It can make it much more expressive. That's the whole, well, I don't know if that's the whole point of MPE, but that's the most interesting thing about MPE to me is that there's, there's a lot more expressiveness in the keyboard uh, when you're playing through something that supports MPE. That's why I like these Roland Seaboard um, keyboards because they do support MPE. So play around with it. I don't want to spend too much time on it right now. Um, we'll look at it again once we start deep diving into the instruments. But if you want to poke around, this is where you would find it in the MIDI settings.